Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily recover any Windows 10 password. Uh, this method is working 100%. I've tried it on so many different machines and it's worked every single time. Uh, the method is very, very easy to do as well. So we can see here, this is a Windows 10 machine and I've got a user account called Jason and I've forgotten the password for this. So you can see here, there's no password there. So if I press enter, it's saying the password is incorrect. So we know that the password is not blank. So what we need to do is you actually need to go onto another machine that you can log on to. So I can log on to this machine here. We need to create a bootable either CD, DVD or USB drive. So if you go to this URL, I'll paste this URL in the description of this video so you can easily just click on it. Uh, if you download here, click on free download and it's going to download a .exe file. So once you've downloaded the .exe file, you just um, double click on it and it, you need to install the program. It's like just next, 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 finish. You can see it's here. So once that's downloaded, just click on it. Um, once it's installed, it will put an icon on your desktop. Just double click on the icon. So if you click on the icon here, okay, so here it's saying select the version of Windows on the target machine. So if you drop down here, I'm recovering on Windows 10 64 bit, so obviously select 32 bit if you're running 32 bit. So next yeah as i said this is by far the easiest way that i've found um, to recover any windows 10 password if you do know of another method that is easier than one i'm going to show you now uh, post it in a comment below i'll be very interested to to hear what you think so if you want to burn to cdd dvd uh, put your um, blank CD DVD into your drive and I don't actually have a CD drive so you'll, you'll just drop down and you'll select it's usually the D or E drive and if you want to, to create a bootable USB flash drive select the USB flash drive and then drop down the box to select the drive letter again it's that's grayed out because I haven't got um, a USB flash drive in my machine at the moment or you could even create an ISO image now, because I'm running a virtual Windows 10 machine, I've actually created an ISO. So I'm just going to restart this Windows 10 box here. So when you reboot, it should automatically go into this program. If it doesn't, you'll need to go into your BIOS and make sure that the CD or USB drive is selected as the primary boot device. So here we've got two options. Select the first option, the live CD option. It's now going to boot to that application that we've just um, installed and burnt onto the media. So here, select reset Windows password. You can also find your Windows product key, which could be very useful if you want to reinstall your system. Click next okay so if you're using this for company uses uh, you need to buy a license but if you're not if you're like me just at home using it on your personal computer it's fine it's free so just click yes so here if you've got two um, versions of windows on your machine you need to select the correct version here i've only got one uh, version of windows so it's select that we want to reset the local password so click next here we can see there are four accounts here we want to reset the JSON username so click next and click on reset unlock okay done successfully so it's finish I'm now going to take that ISO off and restart the machine so it should boot directly to the desktop now what it would do is that JSON account is removed the password so basically there's a blank password so when we come to log on there we go because there's a blank password it's automatically logged it on and it should go directly to the desktop
Yeah, if you guys do uh, try this out, I'll be very interested to know how you get on. If you wouldn't mind posting a comment uh, below just to let me know if you did manage to recover your password or not and if you did think the process was actually easy. Um, there's a lot of guides out there and I, as far as I'm concerned this is by far the easiest method. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.